Hello and welcome to all our YouTube viewers, a special members from our Facebook pages, Area One Casino and Blackjack Hammer 21. My name is Frankie and today is Thursday, December 23rd, 2021 at 10, 10 p.m. Central American Time. And today I bring you the second roulette video that was recorded back on April 2nd of this year. And as you can see, I've already placed a $7 bet on red because the last number that came out when I started was 9 red. My balance, my bankroll, was uh, $267.42, where I left off in the last video. Obviously, I put $7 down now, and so I'm at $260, and I am playing red. And guys, back in April, as you can see, I hit black, so now I'm going to switch over to black. It's four black that came out, so I'm going to go with the winner. Back in April, um, I really didn't have a YouTube channel set up. So the reason I was recording this was for my protection. I don't trust online casinos when things go wrong. Uh, they, if, if, for example, the feed goes out or the internet connection goes out, their, their connection uh, messes up, which, by the way, it happens a lot on bet online a lot you contact them and say oh no it's your internet it, i learned my lesson because i was playing online casino for since 2019 so i learned my lesson because every time something went wrong and and they had technical issues i would go back and say hey something happened oh no no it was your internet connection we were fine on our end so that's why i started recording everything back in 2019 and so here i started recording um this session and as you can see, I won. I went up to $15. I doubled my bet. And right now, 26 black came out. Before that was four black. So now I stick with the black, bet $5. Uh, my bankroll is at $275.42. Not bad uh, because I started at $140. Um, the, um, if you remember, I started at $140 and then I went up to $1. 92 whatever it was because I won $50 and I forgot I was supposed to be recording my session so I started recording it and and I slowly just keep going up and up but guys I don't trust that online I've had issues with them as I we go along with these sessions I'm going to explain a lot of bad experiences I have with them they have poor customer service um, they have a lot of complaints online they only um, let's see the word I'm looking for not registered but the other one uh, regulated in the in the country of Panama, no other country they relegate re relegated. Um, as you can see, ten dollars. I won, so now I'm at two eighty. So I'm going to stick with black again. They only regulate in Panama, just so you know, because their main offices are there. These live casinos, they got one in Costa Rica, and this one where this lady's at is in, I believe, Lafia. You can ask them. They'll tell you where they're located. It's in Europe somewhere. Um, and their payment processor, which most online casinos use, is in China. But the problem, my pro main problem with Bet Online is they constantly, their, their transmission feed, um, their internet uh, connection fails a lot. You'll see, by the way, this, their, their system, their roulette system, whatever, shut down. For whatever reason, they didn't have to have the manager come over and fix it uh, with the mouse. Uh, that's another problem. But a lot of times, their connection is not good, and I just won that bet. Uh, so I'm up to $290 balance. I'm going to place another $5 bet on black. I'm just playing slowly, working my way up, because Martin Galing can be dangerous. Um, but getting back to their technical issues, constantly, things freeze up. You'll see uh, suddenly the wheel keeps spinning and the ball disappears or uh, the ball lands on a number. You don't know, okay, did, the, did, we, did we win or did we lose? What? And then you see them, they call over the manager and takes sometimes 5, 10, 15 minutes. Sometimes they delay. The delay is horrible. So I've experienced all that. But you cannot trust these people or any online casino because they'll blame you for the technical issue if it if it's not you know um, registered 
I just won that one, that bet. So I'm at $295.42. I'm going to stick with black. As you can see, 17 black, 35 black, 24 black, 26 black, 4 black. Again, you see my bankroll up to $295. So I bet $5. I play it safe. Um, I have, with Bet Online, uh, gotten real big. My problem is I never cashed out all my money. The most I ever cashed out was 1200 for black uh, blackjack, and I believe it's this one, 2000 But I'm going to explain what happened with the withdrawal uh, issues on this one. Um, but again, guys, I, I don't trust Bet Online at all. Uh, too shady for me. I closed down my account. That's why when I saw this video, I said, oh, wow. I, if you remember my other prior videos, I told you I'd be uploading them. I lost that one, by the way, 30 red. So I'm going to double up now on red. So I have $10. My bankroll will be down to $280. Um, but I, I saw this video and I said, oh, wow, I never uploaded it because I started uploading other roulette videos. And I forgot about this one. I had uploaded my blackjack videos from 2019 where I won up to 4000 whatever dollars. I only cashed out 1200 of that. But, uh, you know, I decided to show you this because, like I said, Bet Online has a lot of issues. There are billy goats out there and casino gurus who promote this stuff. And I'm telling you, the only reason to promote it is because they get affiliate bonus money out of it. So uh, here I lost four red. So now you see four red, uh, four black, excuse me, not red. Four black came out, 30 red, red before that, and then 17 black before that. So you can see it's choppy. And so now I got to decide, am I going to stick with the black, which I do, or am I going to go to the red? I stick with the black and bet $20. Actually, 25 excuse me. I doubled plus an extra five. And now that will bring me down to... Two fifty-five, two hundred fifty-five dollars and forty-two cents. Okay, and uh, and guys, just so you know, there's no such thing as a secret strategy. There's no such thing. Okay, everything that has been done in roulette has already been done. There's nothing new that's coming. Think about it. If I had a secret, secret strategy for roulette, baccarat, blackjack, whatever, kino, and it would it, and it would make me $5,000 a week or $5,000 a month. Would would you tell anybody? I wouldn't. Because as soon as you do, the secret's out and it gets saturated and you're not going to make that money anymore. I just lost this bet. Again, 17 black, 30 red, 4 black, 20, 36 red. It's choppy. So now I have to decide. I'm betting $50, doubling up. My bankroll is going to go down to $205, I have to decide, oh, I go red, or do I, the winner, or do I go to black because it's choppy? I decide to go with the winner, which was red. In the past, I've done that where I've stuck with the winner, and it was choppy, and ended up losing everything. So, going back to the secret strategies, there's no such thing, okay? Roulette is 90% luck, 10% instinct, okay? That... Because the casino casinos have a high advantage over you in roulette. The highest game that they have advantage over you is kino. Okay, the lowest is blackjack because of card counting. Um, now red came out. I got it. Okay, so I went one hundred dollars. I'm back to th over three hundred dollars. Now I'm gonna bet low. Put five dollars, I believe, on the red. Uh, but guys, I, I I I get sick and tired of these billy goats and gurus, you know, promoting this site, which has a lot of problems, a lot of technical issues. Um, sometimes withdrawing, they let me deposit. By the way, just so you know, I believe I said this in the last video, for a whole year with my American Express and Mastercard from the states. I'm in Central America. Okay, I'm a le uh, legal American citizen living in Central America. And they let me use my credit cards from the States for a whole year, knowing I lived here. And then after a year, they, no, you can't use it anymore. So I used my Central American bank account, debit card. And after six months, they cut me off and said, no. That's how. That's just some of the problems I've had with them. And there's more. Uh, right now, it's black. It went black. 
24 black. So now it, it's 24 black. Before that was 9 red. Before that was 36 black. Uh, 36 red, excuse me. So I'm going to stick with the black at $5. Play it safe. And my bankroll is going to be about 295 But getting back to what I was saying, guys, um, all these billy goats and gurus claiming that there's a strategy, do me a favor. T tell them to take a hike because there is no such thing. And anything that they come up with has already been done. Has already been done. It's just been rehashed. Like they like everything in life, they, you know, Hollywood rehashes old movies. Okay? <laughs> it's just fact. It's, it, everything's rehashed. Everything that is supposed to be invented has already been invented. All right? Um and here comes black. There we go. So I won, and I'm back on track. Uh, one thing I wanted to tell you that, uh, as you can see, that, that's what I want to tell you. See the new dealer? The new dealer has nothing to do, nothing to do with, with the spins. It's just a new dealer, just like in blackjack. If I'm being beaten by the dealer in blackjack, guess what? He's having a good run. That's all it is. I'm not card counting correctly. Or it's a bad table. I got to move. If you're losing with the dealer, six, seven, eight, nine in a row, it's time to leave. I believe in negative and positive energy. If you have negative energy, you, you're not going to be successful. You have positive energy, you're going to be successful most of the time. If you're not feeling a dealer, you're not feeling the table, you're not feeling the room, you're not feeling the day, don't play. That's just it. It has nothing to do with the dealer throwing, spinning the ball. It's a bunch of hokum, all right? These Billy Goats and Casino Gurus want you to believe in nonsense. Every spin is an independent spin of, each, of itself. It just happens to be, hey, all right, three blocks in a row, 6, 31, and 24, big deal, all right? $310, now here comes the dealer. If I remember correctly, I was trying to decide if I want to do odds or evens or high or low numbers. And by the time I decided, it was too late. And I forgot if I was going to, you know, if I was going to do a bet on black or red. So I decided to sit out a spin, which I suggest. Sit out a spin or two if you're not feeling it. Uh, if you're not into it, get out. Um, I'll, I'll play for 20 minutes, 25 minutes. I'll spin out a uh, Sit out a spin or two or three. If if it's uh, choppy, for example, whether it's red or black or high or low, or playing the columns and the and the um, dozens, and it's just going all the way around. Uh, one thing I did learn, of course, is to bet on the zero. Back then, I wasn't betting on zero. Earlier this year, I started betting on zero because I started losing a lot of money. Yes, because the Billy Goats and the Casino Gurus don't teach you that. All right. They ignore that big factor, and it's a big factor. What happens if you martingale and you're up to $100, $200, $300, and the zero comes out? That's it. You lost it all. That's why I always bet $0.50, cents, a dollar, $2. Depending what I bet on the, on, the, on the roulette table, depending what I bet, I make sure the zero can cover everything plus a little bit of profit. In this case, I, I'm with the new dealer, big deal, $5 black. I'm just following... The, the the winners, 8, 6, 31, and 24 black, and I stick with black, okay? Um, but guys, the new dealer has nothing to do with it. That's just a lot of hokum. It really is. Uh, it's a lot of smoke and mirrors. And like I said, with Bet Online, uh, I don't trust them at all. I don't like them. That's why I shut down my account. I, right, not too long after this, I shut down my account because... I remember I had issues with drawing, and uh, I'm going to explain that later on. Uh, I won that bet, so now it's five blacks in a row. 24, 8, 6, 31, 24. All black numbers, I'm at $315.42. Um, I'm going to go with the winner. One other thing I have to tell you guys, uh, you hear these certain person, Billy Goat, I call them. Documentation beats conversation. And I said in my prior videos, let's raise the bar. How about history documentation beats all conversation and everything in between? There's a little button right here. 
that the Billy Goat and everybody else who uses this website can click on to show you if they're playing with real money or, or affiliate fake money or casino funded non-withdrawable money. Yes, this little history button shows not only all the bets that the, the person made, but it shows how much they won, lost, and it will show you the transactions, the deposits, the withdrawals, and it will show you if it's real money or if it's affiliate money. I just won that. I believe, yes, six blocks. So now you see it, it's it's all the black numbers, which is fine. So I go with the winner. Bet $10. 6, 24, 8, 6, 31, 24. And you notice I bet 10, not 5. Because I got, I've got, back then I would get bolder as I'm getting confident. And I do that today. When I know, you know what, I'm a little confident. Let me, let me bet a little bit more than normal. Instead of betting $5, $5, and then I have to martingale, uh, you know, because I, I lost. When I win, I'll bet a little bit more on the next uh, spin or hand, whatever the case may be. But Martingale, guys, is very dangerous. And I use uh, a lot of times what's called Fuconi. Shout out to Brian Dempsey. Go to Brian Dempsey's YouTube channel. He, That's where I saw it. He got it from somewhere else, of course. But it's a prog progression where your money lasts a lot longer when you bet. You're not Martingaling five, six times and you got $500 on the table. Okay, and then the zero comes out and you lose it all because these billy goats and casino gurus don't don't teach you anything like that. They just ignore it. Uh, I placed five dollars on black, and uh, there you go. I just talked about reconnecting to the server. I just talked about how how bet online has a lot of issues uh, where the system freezes up or the connection um, closes out. And guess what? That's why I record the session. That's why I record it. Because they'll blame you or your internet or your computer. And it happened to me in 2019 and ever since then I've been recording my sessions. But you saw it for yourself. Already, that's why I don't trust Bet Online. This is the one website that has more problems with internet connection than any other. I've played on others and it, it doesn't happen as much as this one. Uh, one red. Okay. So now I'm going to put $5 on red, or 10, I believe, yes, 10. My bankroll is down to, well, I'm going to put 15, actually. My bankroll will be down to 310. And so I'm sticking with the red, the last winner, because before that it was all black, you know, all black numbers. Um, but guys, this is, this is one of the pet peeves, another pet peeve, not only... Uh, with the depositing and them cutting me off after letting me do it with my American Express and MasterCards from the state and then from my Central American bank account, same thing. They cut me off to six months. Now, this is the other problem, um, the internet connection. I mean, literally, the ball will hit, land on the number and keep spinning. The wheel will keep spinning and then the dealer is stuck because the computer is stuck or the system is stuck. Happens a lot with Bet Online. That's another issue I have with them that I don't trust them. Um, I just won that, so I'm up to three hundred ten dollars and forty-two cents. I'm gonna bet another uh, five dollars on red. There's my balance, three hundred ten dollars and forty-two cents. And as you can see, three red, one red. I'm sticking with red. All right, there it is. Session expired. See, it didn't expire. I placed my bet. It only expires if you don't place a bet. You see, look, you're seeing it for yourself right there. And look at my balance, $340 up here, $340 USD. And so I don't know what happened. I have no clue what happened. So now I'm quickly trying to get back in. And as I join them, it'll come up. There he is. So now my balance is $340. I don't know what happened. And so five dollars bet. I bet five dollars again on red because it looked like the seven red came out, fourteen red came out. So two spins came out while the internet connection broke. I, that's my one of my biggest pet peeves. That's why I don't trust bet online, guys. That's why I closed my account. I put five dollars on red. I kept going because I want to keep the session going. Um, this session is going to go for another 24 minutes and you can see the spins for yourself, but I just proved it to you what I've been talking about 
Frankie, why'd you shut your your account down? Why didn't you play and bet online anymore? You see it for yourself. You see it for yourself. And these people, when you contact them, oh, it's your. It was your internet connection. No, it was yours. It was yours. Ten black came came out. So now I'm gonna go ten dollars, fifteen dollars on black. I'm gonna triple it. Um, and just so you know, guys, I I no longer play like this uh, because. Uh, I lost a lot of money martingaling, uh, meaning I deposited a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars. I went up to a thousand, two thousand, whatever, and I ended up losing it all because martingaling um, ruins you. And that's why I choose to do the Fulconi. Again, go to Brian Dempsey's YouTube channel, and you can find it there. I'll leave a link underneath this video for you. Um, so you, you can see how it works, but um, you know, I, I bet online. I had a very bad taste in my mouth after a couple of years of playing on here. I just it just gave me a bad taste. Um, I won, so now uh, twenty four black and then ten black before that, thirty dollar win. So now I'm up to three hundred fifty dollars and forty two cents. So I'm gonna bet with black again. Uh, there's that history button. There's that history button. You see it? It was highlighted. That history button, so you know, whenever you see these casino gurus and billy goats on these on these um, websites, on Bet Online especially, tell them to show you their history because they claim they win all the time. Documentation beats all conversation. No, history documentation beats all conversation and everything in between, billy goat. And you know it because if Billy Go or any of these casino gurus clicks that button, you know what happens? It shows you again to the deposits and withdrawals, the wins and losses, the bets that you placed. It shows you everything. And it shows you if it's affiliate money, bonus money, casino funded, non-withdrawable money. Yes, it shows you all that. It doesn't show you any personal information. Okay. $10 win. Again. Three black numbers in a row, 20, 24, 10. I'm going to stick with black. Um, the other thing I, I had to tell you guys, uh, while these uh, people who claim that, you know, documentation, yeah, they document everything. They show you documentation. No, they don't. I, I can have a whiteboard, okay? I can have a whiteboard and claim that I, and look at this, unsuccessful bet. Look at that. Did you see that? I just placed my bet. It was fine. And it was telling me unsuccessful. That's the shady stuff that I don't like. That's their system messing up, guys. That's why I don't trust Bet Online because that was a successful bet. There was nothing wrong with it. Just like before, they said your session expired. You only, your session only expires if you don't put a bet down. And I had a bet down. I had a ten dollar bet down, whatever it was. Guess what? They they the the transmission, the connection dropped. And here it is now. They're telling me I had an unsuccessful bet really i'm doing it again look i placed the bet five dollars i would have won the black i would have won because i had uh, number two black came out i had black uh, a bet on black but they claim you know it was unsuccessful you see that timer two one zero if you don't have a bet by the time the timer uh passes the uh, you know hits from one to zero you your bet doesn't count I placed my bet long before that, but they're telling me it's unsuccessful. Again, a bunch of BS, all right? That's why I don't trust them. I don't use them. That's why I closed down my account. But getting back to the documentation, anybody can put on a whiteboard the dates of the month and put in, I made $1,000 today, I made 5000 And anybody can do that, and I'll show you proof. Black, uh, red just came out, 32 red. I have black, so I'm going to go to red and double up. But, yeah, guys, anybody can write down anything on a piece of paper or whiteboard and say, yeah, I'm gonna, I want, my goal is to make $100,000 this month. And then one day he makes $1,200. The other day, next day he makes $7,000. Next day he hits a grand slam, $17,000, whatever, yet doesn't show you proof of all the days he made money. Doesn't show you any proof. Doesn't. Maybe show you proof on one day. One of those days. But the rest of the days, you got to take his word for it. Come on, man. 
Come on. Mr. Catchphrases from the 1980s ESPN. You know, I don't want to, I don't even want to repeat it. It's so silly. I put $25 down, guys, because I doubled my bet and I added an extra $5. Again, I don't do this anymore because that's how I lost my money. Look, 32 red came out, not 4 red came out. Well, guess what? You got 4 black, excuse me, 4 black, not 4 red. 4 black, 32 red, 2 black. It's choppy now. Now I got to bet $50. I'm sticking with black, the winner. But it could go to red. Look at my bankroll. Down to 320. Well, it'll be down to 275, is it? Yeah. Look at the timer. I already have my bet down very early. But the, they'll tell me that uh, it was unsuccessful. There it is. $275. I went down after I was up. What was it? 350 That's how quickly with Martingale you can lose your money. So now I'm hoping that this uh, $50 bet on black comes out because it's choppy. Two black, red, 32 red, four black. If it comes out red, now I'm in trouble. Okay? And this is why I don't Martingale. And this is why I don't recommend you Martingale. Look, black came out. All right? But it's a game of chance, guys. It's a game of luck. So guess what happens if red would have come out? I would have been screwed. And it's a good time to stop or sit out a couple of spins. Now I'm going to go down to $5. Be safe. I'm up to $375. I've been lucky. This is luck. There's no skill. Anybody who tells you that this skill is lying to you. Lying to you. 90% luck, 10% instinct. Period. Period. And so, uh, again, uh, guys, getting back to that documentation, I know because in between spins I'm talking, any idiot can put down on a whiteboard or, or a, a notepad the dates of the month and how much money every day you made with, and say, oh, yeah, I made this much money, but show you no proof. Are you kidding me? Are you that gullible to believe idiots that try to sell you this nonsense? Black one. I'm good to go there, so I'm up to 380. And I'll stick with the with the six black just came out. I'm sticking with the color black. Um, another thing too, guys. Showing off your cars and homes and expensive homes and cash is not is not proof of your success. Um, <laughs> the cars could be rented or on car payments. Um, or it could be leased. Your your money, you can buy that prop money on Amazon anywhere. You can buy a bunch of prop money that looks like real money. You can buy it anywhere. Or you can put a real $100 bill in the front and then the rest fake money and then fan it. Just fan it, you know, to make it look like you're rich. Uh, the house that you claim you own, you can go and rent any house for that. You can go to a friend's house who's got a nice house and, and, and do the videos from there. Guys, that doesn't mean that you're rich. Okay? It doesn't mean that you're rich. Um, I just lost that, so it's 18 red. I'm going to... Now, I'm up to... I bet $20. Did you see that? I bet $20. I took a risk. And now, I got to double it because I took a risk. And I'm putting it... $40 on red, hoping that red comes out. If black comes out, now the, the table's choppy again. Um, but getting back to these, I when I show my houses and cars and I show my money, as if that is proof. No, it's not. That could be prop money, fake money, like I said. You could be renting that car, leasing that sports car. Okay? That's all Fake. It's not real. Show me your history. That's what I want to see. Okay? All you casino gurus that claim you win 20000 100000 you'll see them online. All these billy goats that claim they win every day. Look, show me your history. Show me your history. Show me receipts that you've made uh, $100,000 in one month already. Come on. I'm not stupid. Look at that. Choppy. I vid Look at my, ba my, my, uh, my bankroll. My balance is $320.42. So what do I do now? I'm going to stick with black, even though it's choppy. Look at the chop. Six black, 18 red, 11 black. The only thing that 
has not happened is the zero has yet to come out. So I put, instead of doubling and tripling like some people tell you to do because they believe in the martingale, guess what? I stick to the $50, start over, and try to build it back up. So I'm hoping the black color comes out. Okay, if not, I'm in trouble. Then I got to make a decision. Either sit out, play the chop, whatever the case may be. Um, but guys, history documentation beats all conversation and everything in between. Okay, people who claim to, I document everything. No, you don't. Any idiot can write down a, a figure. $1,000. Any idiot can do it. Look, chop. Now I've gone down. Now I'm in trouble. I'm down to $270, okay? And what do I do? I decide to just stick to $10. It's choppy. Look at that. Black, red, black, red. It's choppy. I decide to stick with the winner and this time play $10, okay? That's how quickly you can lose your bankroll with Martingale. That's how quickly, okay? Yeah, sure. I can Martingale $100 right now. Do I want to? No. It's not because I don't I have fear in, in me. It's because I'm not being stupid because it's happened to me before following the billy goats of the world and their dumb way of doing things and these casino gurus. Yes, it's happened to me. I was up $300 one time, decided to follow some strategy that some idiot billy goat had, and I lost all my $300. I should have stuck with, with what I was originally doing. Uh, red came out okay. Big deal. I, I'm up to $280. Um, yeah, Frankie, you should have bet $100. No, because it was choppy. I've seen where it goes red, black, red, black, red, black, red, black, black, black for a long time. I've seen it. So I decide to play it safe. has nothing to do with fear, so, but being smart because guess what? I'm at 280 What did I start with? I told you 140 I'm at $140 profit. I want to keep that. And I don't, I'm not willing to risk it with a small bankroll. So um, going back to what I was saying, the history on the account will show it to you. Everything. It will show you the truth. But these billy goats and casino gurus will not do it because they know that the truth will come out, that they're playing with affiliate money or um, casino funded money, which is non-withdrawable. Non you can't withdraw it no matter what you win. They just... Reset everything for you at the beginning of the month. Say, here, here's five thousand dollars because you have a YouTube channel. Now I went with red, so I'm now up to two ninety. Uh, red is one three in a row. So now I'm gonna bet. Uh, now I'm gonna take a risk because it's betting five ten dollars not gonna help me. I'm now gonna take that risk of twenty five dollars. It's worth it. Um, the point is, getting back to the casino funded, you can tell bet online anybody any casino. Hey, I got a YouTube channel. With so many subscribers, and depending how many subscribers and viewers, views you got on your video, because they'll ask you for your YouTube channel link. Depending what how many views you get and how many subscribers, they'll fund you anywhere. Let's say from five hundred dollars to up to a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand. But it's all fake money; it's not real. So whatever you win, you can't withdraw. And what they do is whatever you have left over at the end at at the uh, they fund it at the beginning of the month. Whatever you have left over at the end of the month, they just take it out and reset it to whatever they agreed to give you every month to fund you. Right there, I won $50, so now I'm back to $315. And I'm, I believe I start taking a little bit more risk. Again, and this was eight months ago, so I don't remember. Um, four, four reds in a row, 5, 30, 23, 9. So I'm, I'm betting $5 playing it safe. But at some point in time, I do take another risk because I... I'm looking at these four reds right here, four red numbers. I'm thinking uh, black might come out, so I'm not going to take the risk. But my bankroll is at 310 right now. And so, guys, you can easily have a YouTube channel, uh, buy subscribers, right, Billy Go? You buy subscribers, then you go to the casino and say, hey, look, I've got a bunch of subscribers. My videos get uh, 1,000 views, even though you got 20,000 subscribers, but you only get 1,000 views. And the casino will say, hey, look, we'll give you $5,000 at the beginning of the month to start out with, to play with. But you can't withdraw it. So on the end of the month, you come. And by the way, I lost. Did you notice? That's why I bet $5 on the red, because um, I knew black might come out. 
So now I bet $15 on the black, hoping that the black, uh, the, co the color black will come out more. Um, but getting back to what I was saying, once the casino funds you, they put that money at the beginning of the month. It's fake money. It's not real. What At the end of the month, they'll look at it. Let's say they gave you $5,000 to play with. You went up to ten thousand. You you want an extra five or fifteen, whatever. You don't get to withdraw that money. They take it out and they refund you the original amount, five thousand, whatever it is that they that they originally gave you. And now you can make it look like you withdrew the money, but you don't show proof that you did. You know you show snapshots. No, show me a video, actual like I did. You won't do it, will you, Billy Go or Casino Gurus? Because you're liars. Red came out, and I believe I was betting on black, right? Yes, I was betting on black. So I went down, and now I'm going to bet on red. And this time I'm going to go up to $30. That will bring, bring my bankroll down to 265 You see how easy it is with Martingale to lose? It's easy, and that's why I don't do it. I use the progression of Fuconio. Where you start with one dollar, then go to one, uh, un, uh, bet the same one dollar if you lose. Then you go to two dollars if you lose. You go to three if you lose. You go to five if you lose. You go to eight. You go to thirteen. You go to twenty-one. See the difference? This has cost me. This martingale nonsense has cost me a lot of money, and it has nothing to do with ah, oh, you don't know how to play. No, it's all luck. You're relying on the roulette. At the end of the day, you're still relying on the roulette. There you go. Red came out. I got lucky that the red continues to come out. And so now I'm at 325. So I'm getting back to where I was. Now this session is going to about to end uh, in about six, seven minutes. But I wanted to show you why, first of all, I don't care for bet online. I don't trust them. As you show, show, saw, excuse me, the feed shut down and I had to get back into it. And that's why I record it, and, and I, I strongly urge you to record your sessions when you're playing online in case something happens. I also told you about the documentation. The history button right here will tell you the true documentation, history documentation that says, yeah, this is real money. Oh, no, this is fake money. This is casino funding money that you can't withdraw, or this is uh, affiliate money, meaning contact me at the link below. Then they give you the link to bet online with their little affiliate link number and they get credit as soon as you deposit money and you lose it, they get a little bonus out of it, a little percentage, which they use to, which is funded into their account. I just won that, by the way. I took a little risk, bet a little higher and I'm at 335. So now I'm going to bet $15, which will take me down to 320 on red. Okay. As you can see, 16 red, eight, 18 red. 5 red, and then the 33 black, then 5 red, and 30 red. Uh, guys, um, another thing too, betting on zero, there's nothing wrong with it because it pays 35 to 1. That's right. It pays 35 to 1. Why wouldn't you put 50 cents a dollar, $2, depending what you're betting down here or here, in the columns or, or dozens? It can save your bankroll. But the Billy Goats of the World and the Casino Gurus are so dumb and stupid, they ignore it. And then when it happens to them, guess what? They're, they're blaming it on the dealer. Stupid as can be. Dumbasses. Now, uh, I lost that one, right? Now I have to double up to $30 on black because I had it on red, $15. So I have to double up. Now watch my bank, my balance go down. Watch my balance in about two seconds. We'll go down and it goes down to 290. So I'm going up and down. Remember, I was up to three, what, 350, 370, whatever it was. I've been, I have not been able to get back on track. So now I have to bet high to get back to at least a decent level, 330, 340, before I leave, before I close down this session. I went too long on this session after. The connection broke. I should have stopped. Because why? There you go. See how it freezes? Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. It does that a lot. Yes, other online casinos it happens to, but that happens a lot. And with bet online. 
I played on the casinos. Now, did I win? Yes, I did. So now, look, I'm up to 350. I'm feeling good. Now I'm going to play it safe, betting $10 on black, 31 black, uh, 11 black, two two black numbers in a row. Here comes a new dealer, which has nothing to do with what you're with, your, with what you're doing. Um, they have no effect. That's a bunch of lies that they that that these people online uh, promoting this website try to teach you. Don't believe it. It's a bunch of nonsense. Watch me play on this video. You'll see my 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 bankroll go up and up and up, and you see dealers switch in and out constantly, just like on my other videos. Um, all I'm trying to do is get to 360, 370, wherever I was, and then shut down. Because um, after going up and down, I'm exhausted. And again, I normally go 15, 20 minutes. I won that. Look at that. 360, $360.42. The new dealer will take over. Okay. And as I told you guys, I want to make sure that um, I don't continue going too long because I've I've already been over 40 minutes. Normally, I go 10, 15, 20 minute sessions, get a few wins, leave, come back later on for the next session. Because as you saw, I went up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. So guys, I'm going to end this video roulette session that was recorded back on April 2nd, 2021. Session number three of the same recording will be done around Saturday or Sunday. I will be doing another blackjack session either tomorrow or Saturday, the current video that I'm doing where I'm up to $112, $12 profit. But before I go, I know this weekend is the holiday weekend. Everybody's going to be with friends and family. But please remember two things. Number one, stay safe. There's still COVID is still a killer. And number two, remember that a lot of people are not having their holiday with families and friends anymore. They're gone. And so remember that. Reflect on that and just remember you are blessed one way or the other to have your family if they're still alive. This is it for me. Until the next video, I will see you then.